We begin tonight with an update on the evidentiary hearing for David Moody, the man now asking for a chance at parole while serving in prison for his part in the 1995 double murder of Robbie Bond and William Hatcher. The hearing picked back up today at the Perry County Courthouse with expert testimony from psychologists and correctional officers who were in contact with Moody before, during and after his conviction. The defense team argued that because of his young age at the time, Moody didn't have the maturity or mental capacity to object to his older cousin, Kenneth, who allegedly threatened to kill him if he didn't sexually assault Bond and help him bury the couple's bodies. Now, the prosecution countered the claim in court, arguing that a letter written by Moody proved that he was capable of saying no to his cousin and was using his age as a way to hide the truth of what really happened that night on Mounted Bridge. Is his culpability, his criminal responsibility for the crime, is it less, or his criminal involvement, is it, is it less than it would be for an adult? That's what we're asking the court to take into consideration. Our opinion is from all the evidence that we have seen that um, that was self-serving testimony. That, uh, that he was giving to try to help himself to, to receive a lighter sentence. Prosecution also presented information about some altercations involving Moody while he's been in prison, citing those as reasons why he should not be given the chance at parole. The hearing will resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the Perry County Courthouse. Stay with us for updates.